Hello and welcome back. I'm Christine Carrado. With me right now is Andros Chen, CEO at EarthAsia International Holdings. Andros, it's great to meet you. How are you? Yeah, good. Yeah, thank you. How are you? I'm good. Thanks so much for asking. Andros, if you could start us off with giving us an intro into EarthAsia International Holdings. Okay. Uh, first of all, I'm uh, uh, very pleased to have this opportunity to participate in the interview. Uh, EarthAsia was established in the year of uh, 1981. We have nearly 40 years successful business operations. We have been listed in the Stock Exchange of Hong Kong since 2014. Since August 2019, we have been focused on the business of graphene products manufacturing and selling in China after acquiring the manufacturing company in Jixi, Heilongjiang province of China. Globally, most of the natural graphite research are in China, which is about 50%. And about 20% of the graphite research are in GC, where our factory is situated, with very high quality of graphite mine as well. So we are able to access to very stable supplies with good sources, and also with a very competitive, competitive Reasonable, reasonable market price. Earth Asia have a very strong research and development department. And our team consists of professionals who care about environment and energy conservation well, as well as relevant experts and specialists in mineral processing and engineering. At the moment, our company has over 25 patents in China for our industry. Our acquisition of the graphene business in the year of 2019 added a new and fast growing activity to our business and the revenue increased close to 60% and at just EBITDA increased over 90% in 2019 when we compare to the same period in the year of 2018. For the first half of 2020, when we compare to the same period in 2019, the figures are even more promising. Our revenue increased close to 70% and adjusted EBITDA increased by 580%. By looking into these figures, we believe that we would have a very promising future with our graphene business. Thank you very much. And that's some nice growth there. For, for those who might not be uh, too familiar with graphene, can you describe its uses and what EarthAsia is producing it for? Yeah, sure. First of all, some people think that graphene is a revolutionary material that is going to shape our future. We totally agree with this. Graphene is a material can be obtained by deep processing of graphite, which is a natural form of carbon. Graphene has excellent conductivity of electricity and heat. It is 200 times stronger than steel and it is flexible and transparent. It is widely used in applications such as energy storage, aerospace, electronics, and quantum computer. At the moment, the main focus of our business is in the production and sales of spherical graphite, which is used to produce the anode of lithium ion battery used for electric vehicles. In the year of 2019, the demand of spherical graphite in China was around 200,000 tons, while our company has produced approximately 10,000 tons last year, which was about 5% of the overall demand in China. We anticipate the demand of spherical graphite will grow in line with the growth of electronic vehicle industry. This is just a summary of 2019 and the potential from 2020 on onward will be more promising. Our R&D department has been working on the development of spherical graphite that enable the battery to operate in low temperature and also in smaller particle size of three to five microns. Currently, we are capable of producing spherical graphite of six to nine microns while the market is still dominated by those of 10 to 15 microns. Spherical graphite is represented at almost 
90% of our main production and sales of the company. Other than that, we also have high purity graphite, which are the application in cool refractory materials, advanced coatings, and conductive agents. Micronized graphite is also one of our products that is by product during our production process. All in all, at the moment and in the foreseeable future, our focus is still spherical graphite for the production of lithium ion batteries in the electric vehicle industry. So speaking about electric vehicles, what is your prediction on how that sector will grow? Oh, this is a very exciting market at the moment. The electric vehicle industry is growing in a rapid growth rate in the worldwide market. Looking into all the markets, including US and China, a lot of famous electric vehicle companies have strong focus in this area already. When we look at the certain statistic figures for the industry, we believe that if there is a higher demand in electric vehicles, a higher demand for the market of graphene is expected. Global electric vehicle sales surpassed 2 million units in the year of 2018. The penetration rate at that time was around 2.2%, and cargo is expected to be 59%. Penetration rate could reach 70% by the year of 2050. Meanwhile, China, as the world's largest market for electric vehicles, which is about 47%, of global total fleet, nearly half of the world's market. However, the penetration rate of electric vehicle in China currently is less than 5%. So by looking at this, there is really, this is really low comparing to the expected penetration rate of 70% in the year of 2050. So that promised ample room for sustained growth in the future for our industry and as well as the electric vehicle industry as well. Thanks very much on your insight on that. Lastly, I know that you're listed in Hong Kong, but you've recently listed the company shares on the OTCQX here in the US. Why was it important for the company to have a presence here in the US? Well, first of all, we all understand that the US investment environment is the best and the biggest in the world. And we also believe that the electric vehicle industry is more attracted to and well appreciated by the US investors. With our passion in the US market, we hope we can bring in more professionals and sophisticated investors into our company for the best growth and expansion of our business in the future. This is also going to be a great opportunity for us to build our brand in both China and the world. With the help of US investors, we shall become a leading manufacturer of graphene products in the world. And this is what we're looking forward to. Well, I'm looking forward to following your advancements here. Andros, thanks so much. Thank you.